underscore Comic-Con 2014, brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm Lorraine Sink, host and writer of Marvel's The Watcher. And I am Blake Garris, and we are joined by frequent tours of Ooh, the Marvel uh, live show. Mark Evan Jackson, you were at San Diego. Scott, we can't get rid of you. We love oh, having you. Three you, times. Three times. This con. Every day. Three times this con? Yes. This con. Mm -hmm. Get a job, man. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> How are you guys doing today? So well. Yeah, this is great. This is uh, this has been a uh, an amazing con, and um, I have seen you guys so frequently of late at these conventions that I just assume you're going to be in every city that I travel to, even if yeah. it's not for work, Aww. and that we'll chat. Oh, we're there in spirit. Okay, good. Yeah, we're we're omnipresent. I so like it. You have been busy with the show. You did a lot for Super Week. You've done a lot for this con. Can you take the fans through what they've missed if they haven't been keeping track? You've missed everything. Oh. Uh, Reevaluate your lives. <laughs> and next year be here for sure. Uh, Friday night we had a thrilling adventure hour improv show unrelated to, it was the cast of the show, um, but it was unrelated to, you know, Sparks Nevada and Beyond Belief and Moonshine Nothing Holler. Nothing was scripted. It was all just long form. Made up right. stuff, yeah. You guys did an Armando, is that right? We did, did we I did a... Did nail that? You did know that. Yes. We did a, our version of an Armando Diaz experience uh, mm -hmm. with a monologist who is uh, famous rock and roll star Ted Leo mm -hmm. um, doing monologues from his real life, and that was the source material for us to improvise from. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, Scott and me and Paul F. Tompkins and Craig Kukowski and Hal Lublin mm -hmm. and Mark Agliardi and Janet Varney. Am I leaving anyone out? I think that's it. I think that's right. Yeah. And you guys also had a big night last night because you did all your thrilling adventure shows that night. Is that correct? Oh, Scott has quit. What happened? I wasn't you, Yeah, but oh. you, can mm. you can still I talk. I can sing how much I missed it. <laughs> uh, we did. We did two shows <laughs> last night at the Bell House in Brooklyn, two thrilling adventure hour shows that were um, the, our typical show hosted, uh, sponsored by Work Juice Brand Coffee and Patriot Brand Cigarettes. <laughs> what and is the show like? What is the show? The show is a staged production in the style of old time radio. I often refer to it, uh, I don't think they like this, but I often refer to it as, <laughs> it's as if Garrison Keillor's Prairie Home Companion were cool. Oh. Um, How dare you? I know. I, I do get that reaction <laughs> from time to time. Um, but it's, it's, that is sort of what it is. It's, a, it's an old time, like a 40s feeling radio hour. Microphones across the front of the stage, uh, performers in suits and dresses and things with scripts in hand, uh, performing serialized radio dramas. Um, I play Sparks Nevada, Marshall on Mars in the first one. Paul F. Tompkins and Paget Brewster are uh, Frank and Sadie Doyle, married mediums who are drunks, who solve ghost crimes and things in the third one. And last night the middle feature, uh, the middle feature is always different, but last night it was uh, Moonshine Holler with uh, Craig Kukowski playing Banjo Bindle stuff, a millionaire hobo. <laughs> Scott, where were you? Yeah, where were you, Scott? I was promoting something else oh. here at the Comic Con. So uh, get it. On another network. Oh. You've been on the show before. This show, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, this show. But yeah. Yes, I've, uh, whenever they come to New York, I, I jump into the Bell House, and when I'm in LA and uh, everything works out, I jump on stage with them there at Largo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scott is one of my, uh, I came up through the Second City, mm -hmm. and uh, Scott Adsit was also there, and Scott Adsit, uh, as he knows and is tired of hearing, is one of my personal comedy heroes. And uh, so it's an unbelievable thrill to have him join us for whenever uh, he's in town or when we're And we got to improvise together. That, was, that really, was really fun. That was really fun. Yeah, that was a good time. Now, Scott, you also, I, I believe you might have a character namesake within the Deadpool title. I do, Agent Scott Adsit. Yeah, it's a little on the nose, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, was, uh, my lawyers are contacting Marvel now. Oh, good, good. Um, we no, can't wait. Brian Posehn and Jerry Duggan write that, and they're mm -hmm. good friends of mine, and they surprised me with uh, a release form one day. I said, would you like to be a character in Deadpool? I said, yeah. Of so, uh, so I'm a supporting character in Deadpool, and, and uh, not an unimportant one. It's great. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of the best. And now you guys at home can interact with us if you send us tweets, hashtag MarvelNYCC, and we'll answer them here on the live stream. And I will check it, actually. I, I think, Scott, we, whenever we have you by the office, like you know, we always give people comics, and you're one of probably three people who's like, I'm good, I have enough. Like, really, like, know your comics. Well, it's great to go to Marvel because everyone's so generous uh, and they want to hand you stacks and stacks of hardcover oh, yeah. graphic novels. He and heavyweight hardcover <laughs> graphic novels that you have to carry around the con? Yeah, well, not the con. This is like the offices. Yeah. Oh, wow. In New York. And uh, and that's great. But And they hand you, like, a bag that's not strong enough to yeah. hold it. <laughs> um, and then I've got this little apartment in Union Square, which is just uh, comic books now. <laughs> Sounds... 
flammable. <laughs> so we have a question coming in from the interwebs. Oh. Sophia in España would like to know, can you impersonate any Marvel characters? Can, can you? She didn't say you have to. But you do Agent Scott Edson, don't you? I do. Oh I do it really well. Um, Just looks sad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, That's I, it. Oh, that was perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> uh, I don't know that I do. Uh, do you have any uh, Marvel impersonations? Um, uh, I can, no, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I, this I one, don't well. There's a chance there, and I don't think it's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> yeah. I, I had the same uh, thought process. I want to mention, too, before uh, we go, you both do a lot of other things outside oh, yes. of Throne Adventure Hour. You're in movies, TV, all this, all this stuff. You created a wonderful uh, show on... Cartoon Network. Co-created Moral Oral. Right. And, uh, oh, right. And Frankenhole. You're also in the Hawk She Holler, some, amongst other things. Can you guys go through all the stuff you have? Uh, right now I'm in a, a movie with Bill Murray and, and um, uh, Melissa McCarthy. Oh, yeah, oh. St. Vincent. St. Vincent. great. Um, all my scenes were, were cut. Oh. I'm still in there. <laughs> I'll be on the DVD, though. Uh, and, uh, and then I'm also in this Big Hero 6 movie for yes. Disney. Yes. Outstanding. I, uh, I'm pleased to be back on Parks and Recreation this season, back on Brooklyn Nine-Nine this season, and uh, uh, most recently was in 22 Jump Street. That's great. And how can the fans find you on the internet? Um, have you heard of uh, Twitter? Oh, uh, I am oh. at Mark Evan Jackson. Scott has heard of Twitter. Is that right? Own it. Are you truly no not on? No Twitter. No Instagram. And I sometimes check my Facebook. Okay. <laughs> Very good. But uh, I'm a private man. Yes, no, I know. Most agents are. Oh, secret agent, man. Okay, well, you guys, we're going to be back with even more on Marvel Live, so stick around. Brought to you by Marvel Contest of Champions.